Now, this is, um, it's a very unusual instrument. They, they call it like the uh, King of Sweden. And uh, look at that. It's just, it's a crazy, it's a crazy instrument. And uh, a lot of times I've, I've read a little bit about uh, the clavichords. They use it for like a practice instrument. And, you know, you see the strings are, are going this way. They're going horizontal. And then you've got these, what's called tangents, these pieces of metal, and it's just hitting up against there. And and because it, it hits up upward, you can literally, with pressure, uh, bend the strings a little bit. And so uh, let's take a look uh, and listen uh, to the uh, to the clavichord. It's it's it sounds a little harpsichordy to me, uh, but I guess it's just because of the um, just because of what it is. It's, it's in that period where you've got these interesting instruments. <laughs> And you know I shouldn't have played that because uh, like the river's flowing everywhere now. <laughs> Get in a different key. Yeah. Listen to this, watch, watch what happens. So after touch, just pressing a little bit harder and it, it bends that last note just a little bit. And you can kind of hear that. So it adds a little different uh, personality to it. And you can uh, choose a single string. This is the single string. I've been playing a lot of, of these historical type of instruments, of uh, harpsichords and, and that type of thing, and they've got just a very unique sound to them. So let's uh, check out double sustain with, and I like how Sonic Couture gives you uh, different uh, mic settings with these. You've got um, contact mics and uh, two different sets of mics here, and you, these, these two knobs here, um, control that. Okay, so we've got mic A off. Let's uh, let's just uh, turn mic B on. And let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah, it's a different perspective, and then you can blend both of those together. Yeah, I like that sound a little. It sounds a little richer. Get out of that key, you're gonna play that song again. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay, so let's... Um this is handle, you know. Yeah, yeah, BF. This would this would layer really nice. And uh, Billy, top of the morning to you, my friend. Uh, it's just got a really nice clean sound. So this has got the contact mics and mic A, then that gives it a little more, more forward sound. Yeah, that after touch is kind of fun when you find it. Because literally when you played the real instrument, when you, when you just put pressure on the key as it was ringing out, you would, it would stretch it a little bit and give you that pitch, uh, pitch shift. So uh, let's do another natural in your face. So you've got mic A and contact B, uh, you know, and you've got a centralized interface here, envelope generators, and then um, filters, and uh, 
LFOs, all kinds of fun things. You even got different tunings you can use. And then of course you've got your velocity settings and that kind of thing there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. it just pulls you into those uh, types of mindsets. Uh, so let's uh, check out a couple of the um, uh, sound design uh, patches. got some pop to it that's got some pop to it so uh, auto filter yeah so they take something and they just take it a little bit further a little bit further out there okay let's see funk clavichord yeah let's see Yeah, that's that's a lot of it. Yeah, and it's just got the contact B mics on, and then if we can throw in another that mic set. So that just kind of makes it pop a little bit. So uh, let's just check out one more uh, psychedelic. <laughs> psychedelic. Yeah, they're just using all those crazy effects.
now I found Aftertouch. That is really interesting. Really interesting. And you've got uh, some generative tools. And this is, uh, you've got uh, the Weaver and the Jammer. And this, let's just... Uh, Gives you a little bit of different textures. And... It's kind of like an arpe like an arpeggiator. And you've got different uh, different presets that you can uh, use. Uh, let's see, Architect of Clouds. Let's just listen to that. Yeah. So the generative tools on a lot of these, they I really enjoy using them to just to kind of get little inspiration, little ideas from. Um, <clears throat> here's your effects rack. They they've just packed so much into this. So that's the clavichord from Sonic Couture. And make sure you check out all of the links in the description too.